Now, I haven't played a lot of games that really go into, you know, that ocean, sea, open world simulation type stuff. I have played Sea of Thieves a couple times, but haven't, like, put my whole attention onto it, because guess what, I was playing Destiny at the time. But for what it was, I enjoyed it. I haven't really thought about Destiny 2 going into that ocean type aesthetic, but with Season of the Deep and with the latest TWAB, we really have to go in and talk about this brand new thing that Bungie's implementing next season, which to many of you might find exciting, to another many of you might find that it's just something normal, not any crazy mechanics, and to probably another many of you probably don't care. But to me, swimming in Destiny 2 is probably one really cool ass thing, seriously. So with next season, Season of the Deep taking place on the Saturn moon of Titan, it has been literally confirmed by Bungie that we will be going underwater and there has been an image sent out to us of what the armor looks like, uh, like a better preview and what the one of the places will be and that is really cool. Now, Destiny 2 has been a game that's always been exploring planets and sh battling enemies and now going into the idea that will be delving into the depths of an ocean of a titan moon that many of you probably haven't found the location that exciting in the past it looks really cool right now now i always said titan as a destination was pretty small but it was pretty cool to have in the red war campaign it wasn't too big in the campaign but it was something you know a nice place to go back to as we have i didn't really enjoy the edz too much and always going into the moon was kind of like a huge transition so that was pretty cool. Now, with this season, Season of the Deep taking place on Titan after like the three to two years it's been on the DCV, Titan itself, we're really going into a new area. This ain't just like some reskin, and I know a lot of you have or have not, you know, enjoyed seasons in the past. One of them that comes to mind that's really being very similar was last year's summer season, Season of the Haunted, which we went back on to the Leviathan for, and they brought a majority of the destination back, but as an open world type area only for the season. And there was, of course, nightmares and secrets, and a lot of people love that secrets aesthetic. I think a lot of people thought how opulence was really good and i think that's what really came into how okay let's bring some of that back because guess what the leviathan was also in the dcv when beyond light launch so bringing that back was really cool but it wasn't just the same destination itself it was kind of like wrapped up in uh like all this haunted type aesthetic and i thought that was really cool and spooky now we have said and speculated that season of deep would look spooky but already by this image, it looks very colorful and vibrant. And I think that's one of those, you know, aesthetic themes that looks really cool for the season. It's going to be like that half dark or we're going into the depth. We might see a lot of the hive here. We might see the worm gods. Who knows? It'll probably be very scary. But another point, it, like this looks like an aquarium. Like, why wouldn't we want to go here? And that's really cool. Now, I feel that, again, that this is a huge step forward for the game because it shows that Bungie, the developers of Destiny 2, are not afraid to experiment and try new things. And that's something that I've been wanting Bungie to go through for the next upcoming seasons. I said with seasons, with, you know, those small content drops, adding new mechanics or adding new things when the player base isn't really, you know always you know around but when they see that Bungie implemented something huge and made life improvements many people are going to come back to that and I know the expansions are always the one with a huge leap forward in quality of life changes but seasons itself is really cool and a nice time because it's not a huge drop but it has life improvements that just make the game feel more oomph you know feel just better i felt i'm gonna say this again season of the chosen is just something that i enjoyed a lot more than i did with beyond light the quality of life changes the gameplay itself and just grinding loot was just more fun at the time than beyond light's launch and i feel that was one of those seasons that people want again they don't want the same season like plunder and or some could say seraph as well just being the same monotonous thing of always grinding a vendor up and doing the same upgrades for the war table or something like that now i understand the upgrade system however people really just want to go out grind get a lot of loot and just have all these new things to do that don't feel so long to do and yeah i feel that i hope that these next activities that we'll be releasing with season of deep won't be as horrifying as maybe nightfare containment or as astral alignment something that's pretty not too short but in that like medium range that won't take too much of your time but is very rewarding 
Now, I do think that I hope that Bungie, when they add this slim swimming, you know, underwater mechanic into the game, that, again, we maybe see it in other destinations eventually if they want to do that. But it's not something that's like, okay, we're just going to go run fast right through, and there's no, like, how I say mechanics, there's no, like, changes with how our movement of our Guardian is in, and that's what I hope Bungie does not do. I really want Bungie to go all out with this. I know, again, this is a season, but how cool would it be if you had, like, an oxygen AI on the top of your screen or, like, some sort of interface that showed, okay, you got to get to the next location, you got to get to the next station or whatever, or you're going to start losing oxygen, you're going to lose health. Or how about when you jump, you jump really high, and it's maybe hard to navigate sometimes when you're in the underwater area. Or maybe something like how we can just, like, you know pick up resources in there or something you know it's hard to really say because again destiny goes through you know it's it's a hard game to compare to other games sometimes and one of the things i did like from another game was no man's sky and i feel like maybe bungie could implement something there with its elements and maybe put it into this underwater mechanic and that's something that i hopefully bungie will do and again major departure from the usual gameplay mechanics of always shooting enemies on land hopefully enemies as well will have maybe some different features maybe a mask or something or and that will be really cool so hopefully bungie will do that again players adapting to new challenges and play styles is really awesome underwater caves and ruins new weapons armors designed for underwater combat maybe something like that and again with bungie taking the game to the underwater aesthetic who knows what Bungie will bring for other seasons and other surprises within those seasons, as well as the future. Again, we've talked about how the possibility for space battles has been something that we really want, a lot of people want, maybe zero gravity combat or even interstellar travel in the future of Destiny 2 seasons. After the final shape, Bungie can really go all out with an entire new saga, and I hopefully think it's going to be one of the best seasons because, what well, again, all the light and dark saga again we know it's going to end with the final shape but it's building up guys it's building up all the changes quality of life changes all the stuff that what's been in implemented into the game it's going to be brought over to the new saga and it's really helping out making that new saga launch really good as you know destiny 1 and destiny 2's the launch has been not the best and i know that destiny 3 is probably a long time from now if there even is one but whatever the next expansions will lie for destiny 2 hopefully those launches and the challenges opportunities mechanics anything in there will make it more just more of a unique game than anything else that's what i'm hoping for destiny 2 is a huge world and the possibilities are endless Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you guys did, then why not subscribe and like. See you guys in the next one. Bye guys.